So Project Watershed is a nonprofit stewardship society um, located here in the Comox Valley. And project Watershed recently started a three-year forage fish research project, and kind of the overarching goal of this project is to identify key forage fish habitats in the Northern Salish Sea. So we're trying to identify spawning habitats, bearing habitats, as well as kind of hot spots of forage fish feeding activity so that we can identify these areas and map them out and then use those and kind of that information in conservation and management decisions. So citizen scientists are um, community members who are interested in contributing to scientific research and they're really essential for helping projects like our Forage Fish Project, um, helping us collect meaningful scientific data to help move forward our research program. First we have to sort of figure out where the suitable sediment is, is on that particular day because it changes a lot actually. Some things will change depending on the tide and depending on the weather so, because it's biased sampling. So once we figured out the, the best place, the place that's most likely for the Pacific Sandlands to have laid their eggs, um, then we set up a, a 30 meter transect. and then we start to collect our, our sample. So after we collect the samples from the beach, um, we bring them back to the office, typically is where we set up this system. And what it is, it's essentially kind of a, a reverse gold panning system. So instead of looking for, or instead of trying to extract the large heavy material, we want to extract the light material because the light material in our sample is what the eggs will likely be attached to. So it's essentially kind of like a spinning um, bucket of water and we slowly put our sample into it and as the water spins, the lightest material comes out and goes through a hole in the middle and ends up in a sieve at the bottom. That's what we're, where the eggs would be if they were present. In order to identify the eggs, you need to look at them um, under the microscope. The eggs are so small, they are um, attached to either a single grain of sand if they're a surf smelt egg or a, um, have multiple grains of sand attached to them if they're a Pacific Sandlands egg. So when we bring them back to the lab, um, we need those microscopes in order to tell what species they are and be able to count how many eggs there are in a sample. So basically when we get our field sample, we just want to take a little bit, put it in a petri dish, and then we usually add some water or just use some of the ethanol that's already in solution. And without the water, it makes everything almost impossible to see under the microscope. You want to just shake it into a nice smooth layer and put it on the microscope. And usually you start on one side and you just keep track of what you've done and then just keep rotating, work through the sample looking for a nice round um, egg. Sometimes they float. It can take a while sometimes, but you definitely get used to it and it goes faster. And just do a nice circular motion so you cover the whole plate. 